This is Iman, Malaysia's last living Sumatran rhino. Or put more precisely, this was Iman. News spread recently that Iman has died and the Sumatran rhino is now officially extinct in Malaysia. To most of us, this comes as a surprise. When we think of rhinos, the image that springs to mind is probably this one. Beefy, sturdy animals grazing on wide African plains. But the rhinoceros world is diverse and manifold, from black and white rhinos in Africa to the Indian rhino in Asia. But how did rhinos even get to the islands of Malaysia and Indonesia in the first place? And why are there so few left? During the ice ages, when sea levels were lower, species from mainland Asia were able to cross over to Borneo, Sumatra, and Java. Today, these islands' dense forests are filled with mammals, most of which simply walked here. If you dive beneath the cover of the tree canopy, you might be lucky enough to find a shy and retiring loner. The Sumatran rhino is also called the hairy rhino due to a distinctive feature it retained from its mainland ancestors. The now extinct woolly rhinos that once crossed the bridge to the Southeast Asian islands disappeared after the last ice age. With their thick pelt, they can get pretty hot in a humid rainforest. But so much hair also has its perks. Sumatran rhinos love to wallow, and their hair helps mud stick to their skin, keeping them cool. This species once inhabited rainforests, swamps, and cloud forests across Southeast Asia. Today, it is one of the rarest land mammals on Earth, with fewer than a hundred individuals left, scattered widely across their range. While numbers plummeted in the 20th century due to poaching for rhino horn, the main problem today is the loss and fragmentation of their habitat. The remaining population of Sumatran rhinos is so dispersed that they have immense trouble finding each other in order to mate. But there are reasons for hope. The Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia, for example, has a population living in a semi-wild environment that has seen successful births as a result of natural breeding. Iman's death is not only a tragedy, but also a warning. Do we really want to let yet another species become extinct before our eyes? All hopes for the species now rest on Indonesia's Sumatran rhinos. With enough support, the fight against extinction can still be won. If you want to support the cause of the Sumatran rhino, we recommend a look at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary. You'll find a link in the description for this video. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe!